Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I got a package in the mail today. I was the winner from Karina's Mommy and Kimberly's Adventures. I was I was the winner of the package that she was mailing out and this is the package. I haven't opened it yet but I, I know what's in it but I'll show you what's in it. I've got to cut it open because it's really a, a tight bundle. I don't want to cut anything inside, so I've got to be very careful. Okay, and it's really stuffed. It's really stuffed, as you can see. It's really stuffed. I might have to cut down the side because it is so stuffed. I think I will because it is really stuffed. I also, I'm going to, um, today, I was cooking part of my... Christmas, preparing part of my Christmas um, meal. And when I was on Bob's live stream, Bob from, from Mountain Crest Farms, I um, wrote in the, he wanted to know what we were having for dinner. And I wrote in my, what I was having. And it, the um, part of my statement, even though it was nothing bad, put me into the be reviewed section. And what it was is I had said that I was going to have, um, I always cook a, a form of pasta suku, which is, but I don't use spaghetti. I use usually um, ziti pasta or tubes, something that's um, more durable because spaghetti would is harder to, I think it's harder for the kids too. Um, and they all and like, all show up at the same time. no, they don't. So I put it in a crock pot to keep it warm if they come then they scoop up their pasta and put their sauce on it but I said I was cooking pig's feet and which I will show you um, in fact I could show you right now how they look when you're gonna put them into the kettle and then how they look when I take them out and get ready to put them in the refrigerator and um, to my, on, on Christmas Day I will put them them in a sauce and then they will be cooked with spaghetti sauce and boy they add an awful lot of good flavor to that sauce. I will also have um, sausage that I will be putting in that sauce and I put eggplant in there too because I like the eggplant and this is a, and it's a great way to make your sauce if you put the eggplant in. I used to put zucchini squash in it also and bell pepper but I'm only going to put the eggplant in. In fact I should probably go to the video. Let's go to the video. Before I begin to prepare these, I thought I would show you. This is what I like with my spaghetti sauce. And I won't say what it is, but I'm sure you can read it. This is what I'm cooking. For those of you that don't like, I'm sorry. But I like it. And the thing that I like the best is, these are frozen right now, but um, you can't get them fresh here. But the thing that I like the best is the skin. I love it. It's called Kutna. I don't know if it's a G or a C, but we always said it with a K sound, so I would say it was like a K Kutna. Kutna is the skin. I love the skin of it. That's the best part. My son and I will be the only two eating this. And as you can see, it's really, well, that's when you're supposed to sell it by. If, um, but if you can see, the price is really, really not bad. It's got a good price. It's got a really, it's a cheap meal if you like them. But if you don't like them, it's expensive. But this is what it is. And this is what they look like. Now I have to boil them, is what I'm going to do. And it's going to stink up the house really bad. When you boil the, the pork hocks or pig's feet, whichever you have, they make a scum. And then you have to take this little strainer and you 
skim it off. You have to take that out. Take that out. And then I put it in the sink. See? And this way, you'll keep doing this until there's no more scum. You want to make sure that, whoops, it's foggy. You want to make sure that it's, um, the scum is all off and the hocks are cooked before you put them in your sauce. After they've been in the water and cooking for, gosh, probably a good five hours, maybe six hours, they're ready they're tender enough to where they can go into the sauce and that's where they'll go they're they're soft and that's where they'll go on christmas day i will put them in the spaghetti sauce and we'll have pig's feet well i hope you found that the pig's feet part is interesting now we'll see what karina sent me she sent in this oh she sent me a pen Oh, it's a highlighter marker, I think. I, that's a pretty color. And it's got fruit on it. She sent a little... Oh, this is pretty. Um, it's a, like a, you could put a candle in there. A votive candle in there. How pretty. And I, I bet you she made, maybe she made it. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe yes. It looks like it could be. She could have made it or she probably bought it. I don't know, but it's pretty. It's real pretty. Sparkly and pretty. And she sent, there was six of these napkins. And on the napkins were, were Cupid angels that I thought were really cute. Look at that. And I watched Rusty on... Um, What's Rusty, Rusty's channel? The Ozark Duke. That's who it is. I watched him fold napkins. Really fancy. I could do that with these. This will be great. But there's six of these. They are so pretty. And my grandkids are just going to love putting these on their hat. Every year somebody fights over who's going to wear the hats. And um, these would fit their well, it would fit the younger ones. It wouldn't fit the older ones. They're a little bit, their head is probably the size of my head. But these would fit the younger. I have two younger, actually three younger children. Oh, perfect. I have three hats. So they'll fit though, their little heads. How cute. And they're so soft. And then there's these cute little booties. I'm going to hang one for Jim, one for me. Because I have um, stockings that I can hang but I could put the kids' names on them instead. That would be, that's cute, very cute. Then there's also um, a couple of gift bags, which are perfect, love these. Your other gift bag I, I used, this one's got orange. I love the orange, I think orange is so pretty. And I like, the, I like red, but I think the orange, the orange is just, I really like the orange on the bags. And then she's got these clothespins. These are so cute. You know, I was thinking I should hang up my cards and this would work perfect. It says, I think it says Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Yep, it does on there. And I was thinking these would be perfect to put the cards on a clothesline. And here you've got these pretty little clips to do. I used to hang um, cards over my arch, but I haven't done that in a long time. And there's this refrigerator um, file cabinet metal door lo locker. It's a lot of, oh, these are magnetic. How cute. They've got little, like the reindeer and the Santa Claus and ho, ho, ho. And you can put them on. Let's see, this is all to the front. You can put them on, on the refrigerator. And I have steel doors uh, that go between the daycare and my blue room. I could put them on there. Perfect. And this is holiday cards. holiday cards. These are so pretty. There's one, two, three, four holiday cards in there. How sweet. 
Oh my goodness, this thing is so packed. So then this she would talk about, and this is so pretty. Naughty or nice? Which one are you? <laughs> I used to go online. I don't know if it's out there yet, but they used to be have a thing where you could go online, and um, it was like to the North Pole, and you could do a free video. You, if you wanted to save it, you could um, order it. But what I I cheated. Oh, I'm so bad. I'll tell you what I did. I used to use my flip camera. I used to turn all the lights off and play the video and tape it with my flip camera and try to avoid getting a shadow of me in there and I would get the video so my kids would have it <laughs> because after a while it disappears. You can email it to them but after a while it disappears. And then there was these really cute plaques. I'm going to hang these in the porch I think. Or actually I could put them up on the daycare wall. Merry yeah. Christmas. That's so pretty. There's this one, and then there's the Happy Holiday. How cute! These are so cute. They look, they remind me of the chalkboard. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a card. If I, I get to the bottom and find the card. Oh gosh. Okay. In God's heart, you are precious, and my heart agrees. How? It's a little teddy bear on it. How cute! Isn't that cute? How oh, cute. Thank you, Karina and Kimberly. This is so nice. I knew what was coming. I and you know, I remembered watching the video and seeing everything, but it's even more fun seeing it in, in real life. Really good. Well, I thank you. And this highlighter, I like I'm gonna use this on important stuff. It's a really nifty. Let me see what it looks like. I'll do it on the envelope. It's a blue highlighter. Blue. It's blue. <laughs> it's so cute. You know, it reminds me of calligraphy. When I was taking calligraphy, you had a chisel tip. I bet this would work for that, too. Really nifty, neat. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for today. I hope you all had a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.